Today, I'd like to welcome Tim Ryerson. He's the president and founder of studentathleteworld.com, a college athletic recruiting company that has helped hundreds of high school athletes with college athletic recruiting since 2009. Prior to starting Student Athlete World, Tim spent eight years as a college coach in men's basketball and women and men's cross country. During his college career, Tim worked at five NCAA universities in four states, including Texas, Wisconsin, Nebraska, and North Carolina. He also spent time as a high school coach in softball, baseball, basketball, and football. Welcome, Tim. How does an athlete know that they have the ability to play at the college level? Yeah, that's a, that's a really good question, and probably one of the most important things that an athlete needs to figure out when they start the process uh, before they start. And you know you want to use some of the resources that you'll have available to you. So your high school coaches, your club coaches, and you know ask them for their opinion on your level of play and your ability. And a really key thing with that is to be realistic about it. We find that most of our clients, most of the kids that we work with, kind of have an inflated self uh, opinion. And sometimes it's a good thing in athletics because you want to, you know, think that you can do it. But in the college recruiting process, uh, having that inflated self-opinion is one thing that can really set you back if you're not targeting the right level schools. So ask the people that know, uh, compare yourself with the other athletes. Uh, one thing we always recommend our clients to do is to go watch uh, Division I games, Division II games, Division III games, NAIA games in your sport. A lot of kids never do that. They watch the game on ESPN, which is usually a high level Division I game, and then they just kind of assume what Division Three is like, and they never actually went and watched the game. The other side of that is a lot of people think they're not good enough to play in college because they've never seen the different levels. They just watch what's on ESPN and say, well, college is for the, you know, the ridiculously good athletes, and, and I can't play in college. And, and for a lot of those kids, they can. It's just a matter of finding the right school, the right location, the right level of play for them. Uh, and, and there are opportunities out there for almost every kid if they're willing to work hard um, throughout the high school recruiting process. We can usually find them a good place for them if they're really passionate about wanting to play in college. Well, what does that mean to work hard? But most college athletes were really, really good in high school. They were all conference or they were all state or they were um, the team MVP or the team leading scorer. Uh, when I was a college coach, one of my favorite quotes to say to, uh, to potential recruits was, you know, when they tell me how many points they score, I said, every team has a leading score. You know, think of the worst team you play, the, the worst, you know, basketball team that's out there in the country. Somebody's leading that team and scoring. So <laughs> it's not just about that. It's about all the little things that make up the difference between a high school athlete and a college athlete. So when I say work hard, it's, 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 developing a college level game that means strength and conditioning and nutrition and, and um, the the little things the understanding of the game that you know being a leader all the things that make a a college athlete that separates them from a, a run-of-the-mill high school athlete so a lot of times if a kid is an average high school player but they have all those attributes and they have all those things they're going to turn out to be a really good or a good college player uh, another one of my favorite things I like to say when I was uh, recruiting high school kids was, I don't care how good you are at 17, I care how good you're going to be at 21. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times those little things are, are what make somebody a really good 21 year old, and that's what college coaches are looking for. The mental side of the game, how important is that as far as being prepared to play for the college level? You know, sometimes in high school you can get away with being a because you're a good athlete or because you're physically superior, you can get away with being pretty good. But when you get to college and everybody's a good athlete, it's something like the mental toughness is what's going to take that athlete and put them over the top. Uh, they may get by with poor fundamental habits or poor mental habits in high school, but to be a college athlete, they'll need to be uh, you know, keen mentally as well as physically and nutrition and so on. So yeah, absolutely. That's uh, uh, an utmost uh, importance when college coaches are looking at high school kids to recruit. They want to know that they're getting a mentally strong kid because that kid's going to get a lot better.
go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization mp3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.